Today we're talking about Discovery Day. Before we dive into Discovery Day planning, let's set the stage a little of what it took to get your buyer there. The statistics say that 1.1% of candidates become buyers. I thought maybe we should just take a second and put that into perspective. Prior to Fastlane, my background was in nutrition. Back then, one of our top product sellers were the pre-workout products. As you can see here next to me, I have 100 pre-workout packets. What if I told you that before you could drink your pre-workout, you had to make and dump out 99 of them? You had to get your shaker cup, you had to fill it with ice, fill it with water, open up the packet, dump it in, throw this away, screw on the lid, shake it, and now that it's ready to drink, dump it out and do it 99 more times. Finally, once you've reached your 100th pre-workout packet, go ahead and drink it. So let me ask you this, if you put in all that work just to drink your pre-workout shake, are you now going to put in a great workout, one of your best workouts, or are you gonna go sit on the couch? You're gonna go get your absolute best workout in. Otherwise, why would you have gone through all the trouble of creating 100 pre-workout shakes? So think about your discovery day the same way. Someone on your team has spent weeks and weeks of time working with 100 candidates to get this buyer to this day so your job now is to be sure you put on the very best possible discovery day. Just like pre-workouts make your workout better, there are some work you need to do with your candidate before discovery day to make sure it goes well. The most important is set the right expectations. Your candidate is coming to discovery day to confirm what they have learned throughout the process. They should know the next steps after discovery day is to make a decision and sign within 10 days. Things like being approved for financing and having an attorney look over the FDD, this should all happen prior to them attending. Let's talk about what you're trying to accomplish at Discovery Day. Number one, you wanna establish your culture. Number two, you wanna build confidence in your business. And number three, you wanna to get to know your candidates. But before I dive into each, take just a few seconds to look over a sample agenda for a fitness brand's Discovery Day that Franchise Fastlane represents. As you can see from the agenda, your team will spend nearly 11 hours over the two days with the candidates. This should be plenty of time for you to accomplish your goals. Okay, let's talk about number one, establish your culture. The candidate isn't just evaluating your franchise. They are also evalu evaluating you, they're evaluating your team. Do you show up organized, aligned, are you planned? Are you all saying the same things? Does everyone know, on your team, does everyone know your competitive advantage, your goals, your vision? Are you using presentation materials that match the brand the salesperson used throughout the process? Does it match your website? Your candidate is about to sign a 10-year franchise agreement and possibly put up their life savings. Don't make the mistake of thinking these little details don't matter. Meet with your team before every discovery day, even if you've been doing them for years, to be sure you are accomplishing your goal with discovery day. Okay, number two, build confidence. Your candidate has a lot to process. They may be looking at multiple franchise concepts, maybe they've got a job offer, maybe they've got a spouse or a loved one that's really questioning whether or not they should do this. This is your time to build absolute confidence that you are the franchisor and you will offer the support they need to be successful. And, and you're gonna win out over the other brands and any of the naysayers in their life. Only you are gonna know what the benefits of your business are, but here are just a few examples of things that you could potentially cover in Discovery, Discovery Day. Maybe you have your existing franchisees participate and talk about their success. Talk about your marketing, your grand opening plan, and how they're gonna get a really quick start in your business. Does your product or your service have a sustainable competitive advantage? Do you serve the underserved customer? What mistakes have you made in the past? Because we all have, but what have you learned from them and done better? Are you franchise friendly? If so, give examples. Again, I don't know your competitive advantage. I only know that this is your time to explain whatever it is you do better in a way that, that to that candidate where they are going to feel confident in partnering with you for the next 10 years of their life and investing a substantial amount of their life savings. Number three, get to know them, get to know the candidate. Your franchise development director should have explained to the candidate in the process that this is a two-way interview. The candidate, of course, is evaluating your franchise and you and your team, but you are also evaluating them. Fastlane recommends that you conduct one-on-one -on -one interviews as the last step of the discovery day. You can ask questions about their plans to run the business and you can let them ask you questions about your plans and vision. One-on-ones are a great time to get to know the candidate more intimately. 
However, don't make the mistake of waiting for the one-on-one -on -one to ask your questions. You have plenty of time throughout the process to ask the candidate questions during breaks, during meals, during shuttle rides, whenever you're around them. Read their body language. Do they ask good questions? Do they stay engaged? Use all the data points you get during the discovery day to decide if they're gonna be a good fit as your partner. So I hope this video does a few things. I hope it establishes your culture. I hope it builds confidence in your business. I hope it lets you get to know the candidate during your discovery day, ultimately re resulting in more deals for you. The next video is gonna be with our Vice President of Development, Jen Kane. She's gonna be talking to you about the post-discovery process, the lean in, the lean out call, the signing process, everything that happens after discovery day. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.